Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. In this video, I want to show you the Firefox add-on multi-account containers. So with the containers, it is possible to separate the cookies. And when you separate the cookies, let's just say as an example, when you have like multiple accounts for Twitter, then it's possible to log in to those separate accounts just by using one browser. So when you go to this website, I'll put it in the description, then you get the option to install it. Well, I already installed it, so now it says remove here. And when you scroll down, then there's also a link with some more explanation on how to use it. And it doesn't only help you when you have multiple accounts for the same social media website or perhaps any other website where you need to log in. It can also help you a little bit with protecting your privacy. And for instance, that's what they explain here. And I think especially with news websites, they can try to track your social identity from websites like Facebook, YouTube, and perhaps also Twitter. And when you want to protect your privacy, then yeah, I don't think those news sites that they really need to know who you are on Facebook, who you are on YouTube or on Twitter or any other social media website. So with those containers, you can block access to those cookies. And let's just say when you open a new tab, then in this case, this is not a container. This is just default behavior. And when you right click, then you get the menu for your containers. And you also get the option to manage containers. That is also available here. So when you say manage containers, then you can create a new container. Uh, you can give it a name, you can give it a certain color. And that color is visible here at the top of the bar. And you can also pick an icon. And when you've added a container, then it should be available in the menu. So, but let's just say when you want to have the default behavior that when you click on the plus that it just doesn't open the general tab but that you want to open the menu with the containers automatically then you can see it here that you can change the setting in the about config page of firefox So we go to about config and we accept the risk and we continue. So we can change the setting. So now when we click on the plus, we get the menu for the containers or there's still the option just to have a general tab that is not specific to a container. So let's just say in my case with Twitter, I can go to the Twitter website in my Twitter container. So 
I gave it the color blue so you can see it here and also here you can see that we are in my Twitter container so here you see that it automatically logs in because it accesses the login cookie so but when we go like with the general tab or the no container tab and we go to Twitter Oh, well, here I set the behavior that Twitter should be opened in the Twitter container. But just for this example, let's just say we open it in the general container or the no container. And here you can see that it can't access the login cookie. So it will let me in, uh, let me sign in. And Perhaps also the behavior that Twitter should be opened in the Twitter container. That's something you can set here in this menu. So you can say like always open this site in and then you can pick one of those containers. So in my case, it was already set to Twitter. Um, well, it, it does help you with protecting your privacy, but there's one thing, well, or at least one thing that you need to remember that all the containers, they all, all the website that you visit in those containers, they still end up in your general history. So the, the history is not separated by container. So let's just say in the example of someone um, that you're sharing your computer with someone else and let's just say you want to buy a present for that person, then of course you want it, probably you want it to be a surprise and you don't want that person to know that you've visited a specific website. So yeah, in, in that case, containers will not help you. So when you don't want uh, the website that you're visiting at a certain moment, when you don't want them to show up in the history, then it's better just to open a private window. Because in a the websites you visit in a private window, they don't show up in your history. And you might wonder like, with the example of Twitter, why don't you visit Twitter in a private uh, window? Well, that's because what you have to consider that um, at the moment that you close the private window, then also the cookies get deleted. And that means that when you visit, in this example, Twitter again in a private window then you have to log in again so and here you can see with this container that you can keep the login cookie so i really hope that um, the explanation on the containers in firefox are clear and perhaps you also have like a use case for yourself it could be that you have like, let's just say, multiple accounts on Twitter. Um, or you want to protect your privacy a little bit better. Then this add-on can help you do that. So that's all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.